well, guys. That wasn't too bad. Except I need another 18 wheeler load of dirt. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever grown potatoes. And it is taking an absolute ton of dirt. I guess the more you grow, the more it takes. <laughs> because I have two boxes. I got to build a box this week uh, to double stack that one and start filling that one in. I just took the one that was over here that was empty and stacked it on here. And uh, these jokers are taking off. Oh, by the way. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you guys checking me out. We're growing potatoes. Uh, these are some gold potatoes. And they're just going absolutely crazy. We've been getting a lot of rain here lately. And it has really helped out. I haven't had to water them once. They're just doing great. But the, the dirt is crazy. And I keep trying to buy the cheapest dirt I can find because I'm buying so much of it. Those bags are like $2 a piece. And uh, I bought some peat moss to go in it. And then I had a bunch of scrap stuff in the shed. Uh, some other little potting soil and stuff i've been throwing in there i put some bone meal in there too some bone meal a little bit of epsom salt and just a little smidge of lime just to put a little something in there uh but the carrots there's the carrots carrots are looking good outside of what the chicken scratched up the chickens got in here we got all them put up now but potatoes are looking good i'm super excited about the potatoes it's, i've never grown them before it's crazy how fast they're growing but i'll show you guys a, a quick little uh walk around the garden I want to show you guys how everything's progressing. I am really excited. Uh, this isn't going to be what the video's about, but while I'm out here, I thought I'd show you guys. I need to do some weeding over there in our cabbage. <laughs> Getting a little behind. But the uh, little purple, purple hull peas are looking pretty good. I'm excited about that. We've been getting tons of rain. Pigs are happy. They're checking me out. None of our speckled uh, pole beans are a Ford. Beans have come up. None of them have come up yet. But they're a bigger bean. I planted them a lot deeper. Uh, so I'm expecting them to come up any day, especially after we had a huge rain yesterday. So expecting them to come up really, really soon. These are the uh, Fablano peas. Uh, they are looking pretty good. I'm really excited about how they're popping up. They are really, really looking good. Won't be long. i got to get me a little weeding. A weed tool. I need to get me a little weeding tool. I still hadn't planted my pole beans. I hadn't had time. I hadn't had time. I got this huge tunnel. So they're coming. They're coming. I got some help here now. So they're coming. I'll show you guys the. There's our. I need to get in here and do a little weeding, but our, our blueberry patch is jamming. We got 14 blueberry uh, plants we planted this fall. And they're looking good. Got a few blueberries on there. They're looking good. All of them seem to have a couple of little blueberries on there. But they are looking great. I can't wait till these things take off. And last but not least is our peaches and cream corn. The corn is popping up in rows. Look at that. Isn't that exciting? It's really coming up. Now I'm more excited about that than just about anything. And we have an absolute ton of it. We have an absolute ton of it. It's still going, going, going till right here. That's a lot of corn. Uh, starting here, we have our okra. And of course, it's coming up, thank goodness. With this big rain we had, it really ought to take off. We had a huge rain the last two days. Look at our strawberries. Look at this big boy. Ooh. -ooh. Mm, I want to eat that. I just want to wait. Wait about one more day. Got some slugs. Get out of here. What's nice? Throw that over to the pigs. Whatever we don't eat, we just jump right over the fence. Really nice. Really, really nice. The strawberries are coming up. They're looking good. Mm -mm -mm. We're looking good. What do you think, girls? I think we have a wild squash uh, <laughs> growing in the pig poop. Pretty nice. I need to go over there and check it out a little closely, a little more closer. Got a wild squash <laughs> growing in the pig poop. But anyway, I'm going to get over here and get to the meat of the video. I want to play with the ducks today. It's time to start letting these guys out. They're getting bigger. I think we're on week two. So I want to start letting the ducks out. That is going to be a lot of fun. So stick around.
<laughs> Guys, that's one of my favorite things to do every day when I come down here and open this door and watch them scatter. That is so funny. Uh, they're always out of water because they're just getting bigger. Um, so they're really wanting some water. What we're going to do today is we're going to open this door and let them start going outside. We're going to put build them a little swimming pool. So if they want to swim and play around, I'm sure I'll have to fill it up every day because they're just a messy bunch of little birds. But let's, let's open this door, build them a little swimming pool, and give them a nice little fun place to go play. Well, that didn't work out as planned, but I know it will. I've done this before. Uh, <laughs> they're just so skittish. They kept getting hung up in the fence. That's another thing I worry about. When something scares them, they die for that fence. Uh, so we're just gonna leave and let them do what they wanna do naturally. I was hoping we could get a little video of them jumping in the, jumping in the water and swimming around and having fun. Then they, of course they knocked my phone into the water. Uh, but that's the way it goes. They'll get used to it. Boy, you know what? They'll be out here every single day. It won't be long. It'll be another week or so. We're going to put them back outside. We're going to go ahead and put them outside with the big ducks uh, in their own separate pen, of course. But uh, they're doing great. The ducks are growing like crazy. They are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> they're so fun. Uh, but they're not the smartest bird either. I worry about them getting hung up in this fence. Uh, I, I don't think we've ever had one just get hung up and completely pass away. Excuse me, pass away. But uh, there's always that first time. But, uh, anyway, thanks so much, guys, for checking out my video. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, take the time to click that subscribe button. It is free. I really would appreciate it. Uh, it helps our numbers out. If you guys have any comments or anything you'd like to see us do with the ducks, leave it in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. We will see y'all on the next video. Thanks.